Hi, it's Lori from LoriStory.com. I had a request last night. Uh, somebody needs to take something from the internet and bring that into the silhouette and cut it and just wanted to know how to do it. And it's really simple and this takes your silhouette to a whole new level. But all you do, um, she needed a cherry tree. So I'm just going to, oops, just going to Google cherry clip art and here we have all kinds of cherry tree clip arts what you're looking for is one that has a resolution of at least I would say 300 by 300 and you can tell that by just hovering over it and you can see it right here so this is 380 by 400 that's not bad um, I think she's looking for more of a traditional cherry tree this would probably come in pretty good. Anything that's like 200 by 200 just doesn't have good resolution and when you trace it you may have troubles in uh, the Silhouette Studio. Uh, let's see, this one's 400 by 300 but you can see it's got that watermark in it right there so that's not going to be a good one. Um, this one is 1029 by 1200. I think I'll use that. I'm on a Mac, so I just want to download this image. And for me, I can just click on it and drag it over to my desktop. Okay, so we're done with that. Shut my internet off. Now let's open our Silhouette Studio to a new, a new um, blank map. And all we're going to do is open or bring this image that we just saved into the, the Silhouette software. And I just click and drag it onto my mat. You can also use the option File, Open, <clears throat> navigate to where it is on your computer and open it that way. Okay, so here it is. And I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so that it's easy to see. The first thing we're going to do is trace. So open the trace window, select trace area. Now you have two options here. Either you could cut this out as a solid piece with just a white border around the side, or you can get a little more intricate with your cuts. So we're going to turn off the high pass filter, turn up the threshold, and the way it is right now, all these little holes will cut out, and I think that might be kind of cute. Um, I'm not really sure which way she wants it. We could go down a little bit just to keep the definition. I think that looks good. And for this, I'm going to trace the top option. Now what you'll see if I move this, that's going to cut around all the little images. The other option you have, and I can line this back up, I can click this, click this, and we'll go to the alignment window, oops, alignment window, and hit center. Now let's get them both selected again. Center. Oh, it looks a little bit off to me. There we go. Okay, so those are lined up. And I'm going to select both the cut and the image, right click, and group. So those will stay together. Now, another way you could do it, let's bring in another one. is select trace area, turn off the high pass filter, turn up the threshold, and trace outer edge. Let's turn it up a little bit more. Now that's going to give you an outline like this. Now what I would do if I was going to cut it like that, leaving white spaces in between here, I would click this, go to the offset window, create an offset, 
make it much smaller. Then I would get rid of the inner offset or the inner trace and I would cut it out so that it cut white all the way around. Group. Okay, so there you have two options. You go to your cut window, want to select that outer edge on that one, cut edge. Oh, no cut. Make sure what you have selected is that outer, that red line. Now let's zoom in here. Alright, let's ungroup it. I think that's a cut edge. Nope, still not getting it. Sometimes you gotta play with it a little bit. Oops, let's go back to the snow cut. So that's that piece. Here, let's do it this way. Cut edge. So there we got it. Now move this back in. Okay, let's group it. Sometimes you just gotta play with it. Now let's see if we can get this one. Now, again. Instead of messing with it, we'll just ungroup. See if we got it. Ah, there it is. And let's regroup. Okay. So as always, whenever you're going to do a print and cut, we'll turn on the registration marks. Show registration marks. Go to your page window. I'm going to put mine on 8.5 by 11. Let's unzoom this a little bit and we can get both of these on a page. There you go. You'll send it to the silhouette, or I mean send it to the printer. It'll print this out. You'll put it on your mat just like it looks. Send it to the silhouette. You'll skip printing. continue and then you'll detect registration marks automatically and then you'll check your page settings your um, blade depth and then you're ready to cut hope this helps Andy thanks oh and by the way if uh, anyone else has anything else in particular they would like to see on a video please let me know thanks bye